My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I am excited and blessed out and very honoured to share one of my most favourite fragrances of all time with you. This is very personal. And this fragrance really started me on my journey and was so inspiring that it took me from uh, developing perfume as a hobby and selling a few bottles to really having that drive and focus to create something as beautiful as this. It is unfortunately discontinued and I'll sort of explain why I think that was. The uh, fragrance is Rose Elixir by Christian Dior Paris. I'm not going to attempt this second word. 270 pounds for three mil. It is a concentrate and it is housed in this beautiful little bottle. So I'm going to apply it and go through the notes. All the fragrances that I buy, I get sent to Vida Unicorn. I don't keep any, I don't really need any. This I will keep forever and I think it is the most beautiful thing outside of my work that I have ever smelt. It has this beautiful movement to it. It is just sings and dances with mathematical precision. Absolutely has rose absolute at high concentrations with some of my most uh, favorite things in it. Uh, sandwood and cedarwood. White floral notes to help to support the backbone of it. It enhances and beautifies Rose Absolute, which as you know, is my most favorite raw material out there, I think. It is just sublime and beautiful and I believe this came out in 2014 and it was a part of four musk, oud, rose and amber and I had the amber but this one I bought and then it got discontinued. This is sweet and it has the cleanness of magnolian running through the core extending up through it. It's built around lots of phenol ethyl notes, phenol ethyl alcohol I think phenol ethyl another one would be like an acetate or something to help give that rose feel to it. There's the mescaline molecules in to give a fruitiness to it. I just think it's perfection. I can't really say anything more than this was so inspiring and I considered this perfection to push me into deciding this was going to be my career and push all my money, time, effort and living, breathing moment into it. So this fragrance was the reason I do what I do. The reason why I think it discontinued is because one, the price is very high for three mil. And two, here in the West, we're not used to oils. I think they call them atters or atlas or something like that in the Middle East. This really is designed for the Middle Eastern market where they can't use alcohol because it's prohibited. But unfortunately in the UK, we, we're not sort of so hardwired to not having alcohol that had been prohibited. This I think would have been better as a concentrate. So taking this and apply it with alcohol and put it at 30% con concentration and put it for about 300 pounds, I think would have done better. But I think they were trying to utilize the Middle Eastern market here, which isn't so prevalent. Onto my final thoughts. This is the most perfect perfection and I really hope one day to create something as beautiful as this. And this is staying in my house and I actually love smelling it very, very much. I just find it perfection. There is a camphorous menthol note which works brilliantly to give that expansive quality. This is just, just gorgeous. If you ever want to know, well you can't smell it now, but if you ever want to know what real Rose Absolute smells of, then this is either by Rose Absolute or I would suggest you going and smelling this. There is a definite resonance with Rose Absolute to use at this concentration. And I think this is why I use Rose, because this is so inspiring. This smells so classy, so expensive, so gorgeous. So let me go through my marks if you're getting quite blissed out. The first four marks are for technical ability and whether the box complies. Absolutely four to four, and I'd expect nothing less from Dior. 
next to Marcus of the Money, absolutely, because I think it's exquisite and beautiful and absolutely worth the money. I actually paid more to get it shipped over here, so I think I paid £300 for it. Last four marks of weather, I love it, and I love it very much, and in this aspect I will absolutely mark it a 10 out of 10, at just 100% perfection, beauty, eloquence, and uh, this is, I admire the perfume for creating, this is a work of art, and I would love to have seen this put into a spray formulation, I think it would have just been gorgeous, and just love it very, very much inspiring gorgeous i can't really say any more than that i hope you're getting the the reason why i love it so much sublime gorgeous fantastic wonderful what more can i say hope you're staying safe and well and i'll see you soon